Middle contention in Beijing 2022 has so far been mainly about Europe and China. South Korea currently ranks 21st, but there's a strong chance the country may win its first gold of these games tonight. We have our Olympic correspondent Han Sung-woo on the line with us with the details. So I'm aware the finals of the men's 1,500 meter event in short track speed skating is taking place in just a few minutes. That is correct, Daniel. And all three of South Korea's contenders, Hwang Dae-hon, Lee jun seo and Park chang yuk have made it to the finals, where they'll be hunting for the country's first gold medal. As for the women's team, Choi Min-jung and Lee Yoo-bin have made it to the quarterfinals of the 1,000 meter, slated for Thursday night. Choi even set an Olympic record crossing the finish line in first place in her qualifier at just over a minute and 28 seconds, although it was broken in the very next heat by the Netherlands' Suzanne Scholting. Their stellar performances follow recent disqualification controversies on the men's squad that saw Huang and Yi make shocking early exits. A few hours ago, the Korean Sport and Olympic Committee held a virtual meeting with the head of the International Skating Union's Yan Dekema to officially question Monday night's controversial refereeing decisions, but to no avail, as the ISU main maintained its original stance that a disqualification following a rule violation cannot be challenged. That is most unfortunate. Let's shake off the disappointment and move on to tomorrow, though any events worth watching? Absolutely. The world's atte attention will be on whether figure skater Nathan Chen of the USA can pull off a free skate program as good as his world record setting short program on Tuesday to take home a long awaited men's singles gold medal. Competing for a top 10 finish in the same event will be South Korea's very own Cha Jun-wan, who performed much better than expected yesterday to place fourth in the short with a personal best of 99.51, the highest a Korean man has ever gone. The 2022 Four Continents champion's final record will depend on whether he can flawlessly execute the two quadruple jumps he has planned. The men's skeleton heats begin tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. as well. Pyeongchang 2018 gold medalist Yoon Sung bin faces tougher competition this time because he'll be, com he'll be competing against up-and-coming fellow countryman Chung Seung gi who currently outranks him. Chung even claimed his first World Cup medal recently, winning bronze in this season's sixth competition in Latvia. Also, keep an eye out for Korean-American snowboarder Chloe Kim, who will be looking to defend her Olympic crown as the queen of the halfpipe. The first of her three final runs will take place at around 11.30 in the morning. That's all I have for now, Daniel, but I'll be back with more tomorrow.